This program is classified M. Recommended for mature audiences. This film is inspired by actual events. I'm running. Oh, Beth. Hi. It's 20 years, and uh, just the way we left it, huh? Ocean's a little dirtier. Mm -hmm. You know, last time you called turned out to be one of the greatest weekends of my life. You're beautiful. You're still so beautiful. Megan looks like you. I think so. Well, we made a great kid, huh? It's a long way to drive just to say hello. I'm divorced. In nearly a year, you know that. Yes. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe that's why you call. It isn't. Please. Please what? Greg, please, let me say what I have to say. In all these years, I've never asked you for anything. And I wouldn't be asking you now. Tell me you don't still love me. You can't, can you? Pastels, pal. Oh, you don't want those? They're just a bunch of stuff. Well, I do because you used them all. Daddy's gonna miss you. Is it? Take it to that pond, Jules, and show you. And the big fishies, yes. Oh, oh. Loves you. Where's Molly? Molly is having a snack. Oh, she can't be feeding her again. What of that? It's your mother. <laughs> Give me a hand, will you? Sure. Oh, bad. What a bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Mom, I already fed her and cleaned her up. She was hungry. She was not. Molly, tell your mother you were hungry. Get me off the hook here. Oh. Right. Four more boxes from the shed and we're out of here. So soon I, I was going to call out for pizza. Two days and you'll start to love the quiet.
it's too soon to call him. Yeah, I think so. She's probably putting Molly to bed anyway. Funny, graduate school wasn't going to last forever. You knew that. It's not like you're losing another child. You're going to see him again. I know. Like tomorrow. No, I am not going over there tomorrow. Huh? Whatever you're saying. I thought uh, maybe we could uh, hmm, celebrate a little. Celebrate? Hmm. It's the first time we've had the house to ourselves. I don't think I'm going to miss Barney or the Lion King. You? I kind of like Raffy. <laughs> Raffy. <laughs> I forgot Raffy. Because you have a need, you want to fix something for you? Thank you. I'm gonna put her to bed. They called the hematologist. Why? Something about the preliminary blood test. Uh, there's, they're talking about white count, red count. She's coughing up blood, abnormal cells, and they tell me that they want to run more tests and more tests. I mean, I, I don't know. Mr. Molina? Yes. We're moving her now. Here, let me take Molly. All right. You go ahead. Go with me. Here, sweetheart. Thank you. Respiratory therapist, calls us. Where is she going? The doctor's ordered a bone marrow biopsy. A, a biopsy? It's a precaution. Against what? Hey. Baby. Oh, nothing worth the drive, honest. We were in the neighborhood. Where's Dad? With Molly. You can wait in the reception area. This will be a while. You'll be right here, sweetheart. I love you. Body nurse call ICU Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling today, Lori? You tell me. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have very good news. There were some irregularities in the initial blood workup, and the bone marrow biopsy I did confirmed the early findings. Lori, the tests show that you have acute lymphocytic leukemia. What does that mean? It's a particularly virulent kind of cancer. I've had two pathologists look over the biopsy, there's no doubt. But I have a baby. I know. What do we do? I've already spoken with the Fryman Young Cancer Center, and they can admit you this afternoon. They will start aggressive treatment immediately. I'm gonna leave you all for a little bit, and I'll come back through.
And we've taken a number of factors into account. And we feel that the most desirable option would be to give her massive doses of chemo as soon as possible. Now, what that means is that her bone marrow gets destroyed along with the cancer cells. So, before we can do that, we have to find an appropriate donor for a bone marrow transplant so we can, in essence, replace what the chemo wipes out. A transplant? Well, it's not terribly complex. It's not like giving her a new organ. What we do is find an appropriate donor, harvest the bone marrow, infuse it into Lori, and hope that the body accepts it. Now, two issues come up. One is the basic danger, given the magnitude of the chemotherapy. She might not survive. That's right. And the other is the problem of finding a match. But if you find a match, and she survives it, she could lead a normal life? We've seen 10, 15 years. In some cases, even more. Could one of us be the donor? The possibility of finding a match with a parent is remote. But not unheard of. What about Molly? It's about the same as with a parent. The best possible odds come with a sibling, but still only one in four. But now, if you two want to go ahead, we need to test your blood first. Absolutely. Beth? As soon as we can. Being a donor really isn't dangerous. It's just uncomfortable. You'll be weak for a bit, but uh, the body replaces the bone marrow very, very quickly. And what happens to Lori while we're waiting to find out? Well, we continue with the chemotherapy until we can find a match, and she's strong enough for the procedure. She should be able to go home in a few days. That should make her happy. <laughs> Why don't you give me, uh, oh, 20 minutes or so, and then uh, come down to the lab. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you Ken Bradfield? Yes, I am. I'm Janet Davis, Lori's social oh, Hi, Janet. Nice to meet you. Uh, how's she doing? She just got a chemo a couple hours ago. Oh. When you have a minute, I would love to sit down and talk with you and your wife and answer any questions you may have. That's very kind. Thank you, Janet. You're uh, welcome. Help me. Straight Where through down there. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Oh, good you're awake. Hello. I'm sorry, honey, I could not sneak the baby into the hospital. Did the next best thing. Mm, Chloe. How is my baby? She's doing really good. So you playing hooky again? Yes, this is one of the perks of being your own boss. I refuse to fire myself. <laughs> Saw the mural that you did for Molly's room. Mm, pretty good, huh? A little too good. I'm not sure I like the competition. You're getting to be better than me, pal. Not on my best day. <laughs> Sweetheart. You've got to stretch a pretty rough road coming up. I want you to know that your mom and I are going to be with you and Jesse every step of the way. You need to know that. I do. I love you, Dad. I love you, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I feel sick. Oh. <laughs> you check with the lab? They won't know anything tonight. If this doesn't work... It'll work. The chances are remote, that's what they said. Yeah, I heard what the doctor said. If there's no match, we're going to have to find Megan. Megan doesn't even know me. She's Lori's sister. We have no choice.
help? Okay. Now remember, I'm not finished yet. I wanted to do this myself. I know. You could have asked me where I wanted everything. I'm not helpless. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I didn't think you'd That's be up just to it. You didn't think. Did you bring the cards? What? We always play gin rummy when I'm sick. And then I got better. You're gonna get better this time, too. I'm sorry about before. Oh, honey, it's okay. I, I, you can move anything you want. I just stash things for the time being. I know the way you stash things. Martha Stewart could take a lesson. Oh, you're a riot. <laughs> Go to sleep. the uh, butter cake. So, uh, when did you get the letter? Yesterday. Greg, write anything to us about this kid? No word. When did he say uh, he wanted the three of you to move out? When he comes back from Vietnam. Before Christmas. Does Greg think he's going to support you and Megan? He needs to finish school. Make a career for himself. I know that. What's he sending you? Hundred dollars a month. I'm gonna get a job. Before or after you finished off school? Part time at first, then when I graduate. Doing what? Can I get a job in a restaurant like your mother? Nick. She's just not being realistic. I think I. Believe me, you don't know the first thing about raising that little baby in there. Nowhere close to it. This is not the time to move. I'll write to Greg. You leave it to me. Hmm? Jesse Molina, please. Uh, is he expecting you? Just tell him, Beth. Please have a seat. You lied about your age on the marriage application, didn't you? It isn't fair to Greg. He could have a good future. So could you. Just because you got pregnant doesn't mean your lives are over. You're only 18 years old. Sign the annulment, Beth. <laughs> Why is Greg letting you do this? Because he knows it's the best thing. He knows the two of you have gotten in way over your heads. If you love my son, you'll sign it. Beth? Hi. What's wrong? Uh, the nurse's aide came early, so I thought I'd stop by on my way home. <laughs> How are you doing? You look tired. Oh, uh, I am tired. Jesse. Janet Davis called. There's no match. Not you or Ken? No. The baby? Now she goes into the general computer pool. Yeah, I know about their pool. Maybe one in a million chance. They'll find someone.
I'll take Molly with me and I'll let her pick them up. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Why not? I thought you liked Mickey Mouse. Will you do me a favor? Will you go to sleep, please? It's past my bedtime. Mom says good night. I love you, sweetheart. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. How's she sound? Good. Good. She's making jokes. She chokes on some of them. I'm going up north tomorrow, kid. What's good? What if they won't tell me where she is? You'll do what you need to do, Beth. I know you. Kate says you're getting ready to leave. I signed your papers. At least you can do is knock. You really think you can handle Megan all by yourself? I guess we'll find out together. You're selfish, Beth. You haven't even got a dime for a phone call. You really think about her for once. You know where she belongs. And that's right here. We love Megan very much. I cannot let you take her. Here you are. Why would you want to see me now? After all this time. Beth, you would have done this before if they'd have let you. Not good enough. I'm her mother. And how am I supposed to tell Lori? She'll end up hating me, too. Why? Why would she hate you? What else could she do? What's she supposed to think of a mother who abandoned her baby? Sweetheart. Come back to bed. be very good to you. I want to see Megan. That's not going to happen. Vic. Wish, Kate. We're not going to let you start up all over again. You must, you must know that. Just tell me where she is. Oh, 
I'm not going to do that. Now, don't force me to be rude, Beth. I'm not here to cause trouble. Just give me a phone number, an address, and I'll be out of your way. Beth, go home. I had to pick up any toothbrush and a few things like that. But no, Ken. I'm fine. I'm going to find her. Okay. I miss you, too. Bye. supposed to do this. He, he only went to the drugstore. I won't stay long. You signed an agreement. And I've honored it for almost 30 years. Now things have changed. I have another daughter. She's dying. I'm sorry. She needs a bone marrow transplant. Megan could be a match. Kate, he's not even here. She works at Huntington Beach for a metal company. Come in the house, I'll give you the address. Oh, Joe, that's funny. <laughs> no, we are past the venture capitalists. These guys are all heavy hitters. Uh-huh, that's right. Oh, will you check to make sure that we have the 10K in the report? Right, and make sure that Billy has all the right answers. Just keep an eye on him. Okay. Right, well, I'll see you there. Bye. What's up? A woman is here to see you. Who? She wouldn't give her name. Hi, thank you for holding. I can transfer your call now.
back. Can I help you? My name is Beth Bradfield. I know it's been a very long time. What are you doing here? I'm your mother, Megan. Trust me. I know who you are. Megan. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. I need to talk to you for a few minutes. Why now? It's important. You look younger than I imagined. I was only 17. Doing so well. A vice presidency. Ah, well, just a title. They give it to you instead of money. You must have earned it. What are you doing here? You're so angry. <laughs> well, what do you expect? I'm supposed to sit here and chat with you about my impressive job? You dumped me, remember? I was very young. You said that. It's a lousy excuse. I didn't dump you, Megan. Your grandfather had our marriage annulled. I let them take you. I didn't know how to fight back. That's semantics. How does one take a one-year-old baby? I had no money, no job, nowhere to go with you. I was in high school, Megan. I didn't know the first thing about being a parent or a wife. Then why didn't you come and get me when you knew better? I think I was scared. And did you and my father at least love each other? Yes. Why did he let you go? He was a kid, too. Your grandfather was very convincing. My grandparents were very good to me. I'm glad. You know, Greg wasn't much of a father. I never lived with him. I know. And my stepmother didn't want me around. <laughs> Lucky I don't believe in self-pity. Lucky. No one ever talked about you. I never saw any pictures. I had to make you up. Didn't my letters help? What letters? I wrote to you. All the time. Sent presents. I remarried. You have a sister. A sister? Can I buy you a cup of coffee? Lori looks a lot like me. Don't you think? I do. You wouldn't have come if Lori wasn't sick, would you? I always wanted to. I always hoped you'd find me. When you didn't answer my letters, I thought I should leave you alone. You wouldn't have come. So does she, uh, does she know about me? No. Why not? I've always been afraid to tell her. But you want me to give her my bone marrow. If I was the one who had leukemia, you wouldn't be driving around looking for donors. You wouldn't even know about it. You're not very brave, are you? We're honest. I'm trying. Late for that. I'm sorry. I bet you are. You know what? I have a lot of work to do. I'll I'll get this. Not on a bet. I guess I'm supposed to say uh, it was nice meeting you, Beth.
How are you? Hi. Any luck? You saw her? Yeah. And? And she was wonderful. And she hates me. She wouldn't? I'm sorry. Would it help if I talked to her? Well, there's tuna in the refrigerator. I made lots. Thanks. Feel like some company? Yeah. Here we go. Hold on tight. Good girl. <gasps> Peekaboo! Peekaboo! <gasps> Where's that doggy? Where's that doggy? <laughs> Mommy's up from her nap. Hi. That's Mommy's little girl. Oh, doggy. Yeah. Did you have a good bath with Nanny? Are you okay? girl to bed and the next my whole world changed <laughs> she's not gonna remember me you're with her now Lori be with her now <laughs> I'll take the blood test. I'd do it for anybody. If I'm a match, just tell her she can count on me. I'm glad you came. Don't be. You're nothing to me. I'm doing it for Lori. As far as I'm concerned, you're her mother. Her mother, and that's all. OK. You just tell me where and when, and I'll be there. Thank you. What time does Megan go in tomorrow? I don't know. I gave uh, Janet her number. She's going to make the arrangements. You want me to be with you when you tell Lori about Megan? I don't think I'm going to tell her. Not yet. Why not? I want to wait, make sure. What earthly difference is that going to make, Beth? Don't you think Lori deserves to know the truth either way? Why are you getting angry? Because I think Lori deserves more respect than this. The hospital, the doctors, everybody knows about Megan except Lori and Jesse, the two people who matter the most in this. I just think it's unfair to Lori while she's going through all of this. It's never been fair, Beth, for either of them. It's only been easier for you. 
This isn't about you, Beth. What are you planning on doing? Just waiting? And if there's no match, then you'll never have to face this? Sweetheart. Hi, Grandpa. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, of course. You drive all the way here so late? No, oh, the chauffeur brought me. <laughs> Kate, look who I found. Oh, my goodness. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, Grandma. What do we got to offer, Katie? Oh, I'll get some dinner. No, that's okay. I'm not hungry. I'll get something at home. Ah, lasagna's probably not even cold yet. You can heat that up in a minute. Grandma, I'm not hungry. Well, I'll get you something to drink. I've been saving this, this article. I've been meaning to show you. It's so funny. <laughs> Where is it? Grandpa, did my mother ever write to me? What's going on, Megan? Just answer me. Oh, that's that's old business. Your mother gave you up, and that was the end of it. Did she write to me, Grandma? You haven't uh, second thoughts about how we brought you up? No. No, this has nothing to do with the way you brought me up. I know that you love me. I have to know why you never gave me the letters. I thought it was for the best. Don't blame your grandmother. Did you at least keep them? No. I... I have the letters, Megan. didn't want to mix you up. This was your home. We were your family. Grandma. Did you think it was for the best, too? I never knew. I still don't. I figured you'd be here. Is it all right? I guess. Are they usually on time? Pretty much. So what are you doing? Trying to head your bet with another kid just in case this doesn't turn out to have a happy ending? I could never replace Lori. And she never replaced you. Megan Hollander? Yes. We're ready for you. Now well, you can wait for her right here. I thought I might be able to go in with you. I'm a big girl.
Look, look. the odds were one in a million. It wasn't random. I referred someone. What do you mean you referred? Her name is Megan Hollander. Ben? And she's related. Megan. Do I know her? Mom, who is she? She's my daughter. My first child. You're not serious. I was married for a very short time. Her father's parents adopted her. Why didn't you tell me? May you always tell me everything. Does Dad know? she been all this time? About an hour from here. For the first time in my life, I don't know what to say. What's she like? She's smart. Successful. And right now, pretty angry. I bet. Am I gonna get to meet her? If you want to. Of course I do. Mom, I don't understand. Why was this such a big secret? Lots of reasons that don't seem very rational anymore. 24 years and I thought I knew exactly who you were. Why exactly did you think that you couldn't tell me? What do you think I'd do? I thought you might not understand. You obviously don't know me as well as you thought you did either. Maybe. I always wanted a sister. I always pretended.
glitz and glam, you got it with the 2005 Astro Awards. Woo! I never dreamed that this would happen and it's very surreal. Next Wednesday at 9.30, see the cream of Australian talent hit the red carpet and make a splash. Thank you very much. It's all about the hot frocks, sexy rocks and luscious locks. I've always wanted to say this. The winner is Phil. Oh, here we go. Celebrate with the stars of Subscription TV. The 2005 Astro Awards, next Wednesday at 9.30, Arena. <laughs> Only Viva Paper Towel from Kleenex has revolutionary V-shaped ripples, making it a fast-absorbing paper towel for an effective and easier clean. Life's V-messy. Soak it up with Viva. From tomorrow at Target, you can get 20 to 40% off women's, men's and kids' underwear, socks and hosiery, excluding sleepwear. <laughs> No, no! Various expressions! Pull a cracker with Christmas undies! Toilet seat covers going up! Broom handles, nice fit! Whoa, slinky! Wigs! Put your mouth around the end and blow hard, it's pool inflatable! Seat covers, zebra! Wow! Rock on guitar! Fluffy dice! Dark blue with wind chimes, concrete! Monkey with your neck! And now for something cheap you do need. The Virgin Credit Card is Australia's cheapest credit card as voted by Money Magazine for 2005. Call 138883. There'll never be a great surgeon. I think you gotta get some help. Shut up! Boo! Shut up! Shut up! Hi. Hi. Well, it's about time you showed up. <laughs> I see the resemblance. My hair's about the same color as yours when I have it. Except mine's from a bottle. I knew it. Clairol E64. That's right. Mom, could you hit Molly? She can eat me. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. I hope I'd do the same for you. I'm sure you would. It's too bad that this is uh, the reason we get to meet. <laughs> oh. 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 Molly, this is Megan. Say hi. Hi, hi. is your thumb good? It looks good. Hi. Hi, hi Jess. Hi. Megan, I I'd like you to meet my husband, Jesse. Jesse, this is Megan. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you for uh, doing this. Please. Okay. You ready? No. But do I have a choice? Come on. Get up. Well, maybe it won't be as tough as tough. Dreamer. Judy? Could you, uh... Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, baby. Okay. Be good. There you go. I'll see you in a couple hours, Judy. Okay. It was really great to meet you. It was great meeting you. I'll see you again, huh? Okay. Wonderful. Very brave. Yeah. I, uh, I have to get back to work. Thanks for coming. Dr. Webster needs to talk to you. Have a seat. You haven't found something to change your minds, have you? No. No, no, not at all. 
Then why am I here? Well, we'd like to confirm our results with one last test. What test? More comprehensive workups for HLA typing of your blood and um, her father's blood. Why? Because Lori's chances of survival increase if the father's typing is a match. And since your husband isn't Lori's biological father, we need to take... You knew that, didn't you? I didn't know for sure. Let me explain. No, 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 you don't have to. Uh, I do. I want you to understand. My husband and I were separated for a few months. Beth, the only issue is we need to test the biological father. Well, what if that's not possible? Then we won't have all the information we need. Would you have to say anything? I mean, isn't there a doctor-patient confidentiality? I promise you, we won't say a thing. I plan to tell them. It's just that things, things are very hard right now for Lori and everybody. Beth, please. It's none of our business. We absolutely respect your privacy. chance she has. You know, she would, like I said. She's a great kid. She's your daughter too, Greg. Who? Lori. I beg your pardon. The weekend, you remember? Had a lasting effect. Now, how would you know that? You and Ken got back together right after that. I always suspected the DNA confirmed it. Well, you could have at least informed me. What good would that have done? You had a new wife, a baby. And besides, you wouldn't have stood up to your father. Well, you should have given me a chance, Beth. The hospital needs a sample of your blood before they can do the transplant. And then what? I can't think further than that. Will you do it? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. I miss you, Beth. This is the social worker's number. Call her and she'll arrange the lab. Did you wash your hair? Well, I'm having it, Lori. She's had a bath, her ears are clean. She even liked my lunch. Promise me you'll never put her second. You want to talk about what I'm going to do with Molly when you're dead? I just think we need to be realistic. 
Is that gonna cheer you up? Yeah, it'll make me feel better. Okay. Uh, I won't rush for potty training. Uh, she's gonna have the best school. She's gonna take piano lessons. Why? Why, why? why do you have to think about these things? What else am I supposed to think about? Think about that you're gonna be okay. That you're gonna be with me while Molly grows up. What if we get to know each other and we don't get along? Well, I'll tell you right now, I have got my faults. Big mouth, bad temper, judgmental as hell. Well, I'm moody, too sensitive, and I cry at commercials. <laughs> <laughs> She really blew it, didn't she? Big time. She is a good person. I guess I ran into her on a bad day. Yeah. They've scheduled the transplant for tomorrow. You sure you want to do it? You bet. That sandwich. You gonna eat it? <laughs> no, it's yours. Oh, well, thank you very much. Ken? Ken? Hi. Well, she's all settled in. The hospital's given the thumbs up. I uh, know. Why is it so dark in the house? Turn that off, please. You okay? You were supposed to meet us at the hospital. Oh, I was there. Aren't you pleased? I'm praying for her, Beth. Then what's wrong? Well, you see, I thought they'd made a mistake. I looked at the chart. I, I thought they got hold of the wrong results. The father was listed as uh, type A, and my, my blood type is, uh, is type O. I certainly didn't want them to make a mistake. How long have you known, Beth? Okay. Is that why you came back to me? Because you were pregnant? No. Because I was convenient? No, Ken. I didn't deserve that. Not that I give a damn about blood type. Lori is my daughter. I raised her. I love her. It's your lie. Not mine. It certainly isn't hers. Let's be very clear about this. Please, Beth. I am her father. For as long as we have her. Don't you dare try to take that away from me.
Captain. Ken. We have to talk. Not right now. Do you want me to sleep in the other room? I don't care. you did, that'd be all right. I'm scared, Mom. I'm on my way. No. Now just, just talk to me for a minute. They start the heavy stuff in the morning. Keep thinking. In a few days, it'll all be over. <laughs> in a few days, I might be dead. Lori. Don't deny it, Mom. I hate it when nobody will talk to me about it. I know you're scared, honey. And I know you might die. <laughs> you know, I've had a good life. <laughs> Not as long as I wanted, but it's been good. And you've given back so much. Thanks. I'll be there in the morning before they start. Is Daddy up? Yeah, I think so. I want to say goodnight. Hold on. I love you, honey. I love you. Ken. Ken, Lori's on the phone. You didn't tell her. Open. I gotta go. I wanna be home before Molly wakes up. To sleep? Like a rock. Liar. <laughs> you okay? You're not supposed to ask. Not today. You know what Jesse did? What? He came last night and stayed with me. Mm. And don't leave till he can get me. Promise? Promise. 
even if I fall asleep. We'll be here. Okay. I was asleep. <laughs> Is that um you know the old saying? What's yours is mine and what's mine is mine. very slow in responding to the new marrow. No, it's not uncommon, but it's of some concern. Meg and I, I know you're not feeling great, but uh, we'll need some platelets in the next day or two, so if you'd be willing. Sure. Great. Beth, I'm going to go inside. Any changes? No. Now it's our immune system. Can't they do anything else for it? Maybe more antibiotics. He said you'd do it for anyone. He said you'd show up. He did a lot more than that. And whatever you think of me, I think you're remarkable. Did you really whisper to me and listen to my heartbeat? I read your letters. Yeah. I'm glad I read them. I'm being punished for what I did. No, Beth. 
So are you. So is Lori. Everybody I love. No. House is so quiet now with you guys gone, it's easy for me to oversleep. And I did this morning. But I got up, uh, had a nice leisurely shower, went downstairs. Just the kind of morning you like. Slightly foggy, a little misty. So when the sun burns off the mist, the light into my office is really beautiful. When you used to visit me in the morning, I loved that. But I couldn't work this morning. I'm working on the Stevens place. Just didn't have an idea in my head. So I started cleaning up around the drafting table. I found one of your mom's earrings from a long time ago when you've been told to stay out of my office because you'd play with the pencils and the pastels and things. But you'd play in there anyway. So I made some phone calls, puttered around for a while, then sat back down at the drafting table and the idea started to come. I worked pretty well. Worked pretty well. Some nice stuff. Mom? Mom? I see that. You do. Where's mom? She and Jesse had some things to pick up. They ran an errand. I really scared you guys, didn't I? Sweetheart. Hey. Hello. Hi. It's about time you woke up. <laughs> you did good. So did you. <laughs> Hello. Look who's Hi. here. <laughs> Good way. Excuse me, Bob. Sure. How did I get so lucky? Can we talk somewhere? Um, yeah. Uh, how about over there? You want some coffee? You're tired. Lori almost died. Oh, I... I think she's going to be okay. You might want to see her eventually. No, I don't think so. I, um... You know, maybe if she needs some blood or something, but I'm not going to go see her. Why? What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. Your father? What's this about? Why did you let him destroy our family? Megan asked me that question. I, I couldn't answer her. We were too young. She thought that was a lame excuse. So do I. What do you want from me, Beth, huh? To try to understand what happened to us. What happened is we were kids. Stop saying that! You sound just like your father. We loved each other. We loved Megan. 
What was this hold he had over you? He was my father. And if you remember at the time, I'm thousands of miles away in Vietnam. Can't you take any responsibility? Just share it with me. Oh, and you're the righteous one, huh? Does any of this stuff stick to you? It's all over me. I'm sick from carrying it. Then let it go, Beth. I don't. I think I know why I came here today. I came to say goodbye. All these years have been a fantasy that never got resolved. Take care, Greg. I've hurt you. You have no idea. When you went back and slept with him, did you love him? Yes. Well, at least now you're telling the truth. Glory is yours. In all the ways that count. Can we get past this? Beth, I've lost a battle I didn't even know I was fighting. I'm not sure I know who you are anymore. I'm the woman who loves you. The solid guy. The comfortable little shoe. The caring one. The man I've been making love to all of my life that matters. I'm not ready, Beth. No, wait. You waited a long time for me. They were good years. Aren't they? They were wonderful years. <laughs> <laughs>